Okay then, so hi, this is going to be a nice little video here. Uh, we're doing a game called World of Fishing. It's an MMO, a uh, free to play MMO. One of the ones that I've already kind of reviewed just a little bit for the station, but strangely enough I kind of got into it really. Uh, what I'm doing is, there's this particular quest here that I've got ticked, which has been giving me issues for absolutely ages and while I was messing around in the game yesterday trying to complete other quests, some I saw a tip in the chat, which is kind of there, the left hand side, where you can see the notices saying that if you use the right bait to attract bigger fish, you've got more chance of getting the, uh, the special fish, which the swollens are. Um, I'm coming into the area. As you can see, you're going to get oh, you're going to get Korean rockfish here, so that is what we're looking for. And I currently have equipped some bat sea stars, which are um, a high level bait, which you can only get um, level 30 and beyond. And as you can see, I'm like level 32 because I've been playing this game quite a lot. I've already managed to catch one swollen Korean rockfish, but that was quite the while ago. So we're going to see if we can't actually complete this particular quest. And then once we've done that, then we'll drive out to one of the other areas that it lists for the other quest, and we'll see if we can't get that one because I'll be looking for, again, special types of fish, uh, mutant ones. I didn't know what that actually meant until yesterday when I accidentally completed a similar quest in the other level. Uh, basically, you're looking for like albino versions of a certain fish, which I'm assuming mean, might be albino Korean rockfish again. I don't know. Right, as you can see, the fish is approaching me. So, hey! oh. I lost tension. Hey! Alright, that's stunned, so pull up the tension, a bit more damage. That is a Korean rockfish. Yep, just a Korean rockfish. That's fine. Uh, I'm thinking that if I if I try it a few times with the bat sea stars and it doesn't work, I might go and buy some spoonworms because I caught um, a whole bunch of as I caught the albino mutant fish uh, yesterday on some spoonworms while I was trying to complete yet another quest, which I didn't manage to complete. Uh, if I've got time, I'll probably go back and try and complete that one, except we won't be looking for any particular sort of mutant fish or special fish that time. We're just looking for fish over a certain size, which, again, beach to attract a larger fish is probably what I should be going for. Can I catch um, the, that type of fish here? Don't think so, it doesn't look like it. I'll see if I can't complete that quest as well later. Hey. Hey. Now, hey. the fish energy and the fact that it's um, only grey means that this is not going to be uh, swollen, probably. Yep, there we go, another Korean rock fish. Ooh, but I've got a fortune card. Fortune cards are good. Um, they let you have a little spin and grab some items that are rarer. Oh, good. Uh, <laughs> the um, the GM events are on. Currently, 30% more chance of getting a fortune card, which you just saw there, and total damage increases by 30%, which is good for wearing down fish. Also, I noticed um, while I was fishing yesterday that now some fish seem to be able to recover energy which they didn't do before. At least I'd never experienced it before. I only ever saw it on the albino Korean rockfish that I managed to pull up yesterday, so... Yeah. Maybe it's ju maybe it's just a sort of special meat and fish thing, I'll have to look that up. Right, let's see... Don't... Again, this is not going to be <coughs> anything major. There we go, another, <laughs> another Korean rockfish. What did I tell you? I'm not even catching any really big fish here. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to trigger some of those daily quests so I can actually complete them while I'm uh, trying to fish. So basically like 10 fish and 100 kilogram of fish 
Those are pretty damn easy to do, really. I've used the last of my uh, lines, so I'll have to go and buy a little bit more of that. Oh, I've learned an awful lot more about this game just through playing it since I did the review. I've learned about the stuff about better lines, um, improving your stats through different clothes and stuff, which is why I'm wearing different things than I was in the video. That stuff. And then, obviously, as I say, I'm trying out this tip about um, basically a bigger fish being better at catching the uh, special ones, which so far hasn't exactly uh, borne out. I'll try a little bit more. First of all, I'm going to get myself some more flipping line, though, because otherwise I am not going to be able to go fishing. I won't have a line. You kind of need a line to go fishing. I shouldn't have to keep doing that, it's a little bit annoying. Because while I'm in the store, I can't actually equip anything for my inventory. Because instead of like being able to equip things, it's kind of like you double click to sell things. And that doesn't work. That balloon is going somewhere and I don't know where it's going. Uh, and again. <laughs> Not a great fish. And the red lip. It's been a little bit of decent experience from some of these fish. Uh, as I say, this particular quest has been giving me issues for quite a long time, and now you can see why. There's another small fish. Dong Island. Look, you can, it, look, you, you, you can see now that this functions as a notice and also uh, gives you, like, stuff that's going on in the chat. Right, we'll, uh, we'll do, have two more tries and then if not, I'll go and try and complete this Hexagramius Agramus quest because 3,200 shells would be quite nice. In all honesty. So I've got my underwater cams as well that I could be using, but most of the time I don't really use them because there's not really much point in using them. They don't really if, if they do anything for you, I will give you any advantage, I'm not entirely sure of it. I mean, there's probably somebody watching now, maybe, who actually does know what the event is and is kind of wondering how the hell I don't know. I'm, uh, I don't pay attention quite a lot of the time, which is probably why I didn't know how to do a hold for a while. Right. One more go, and then if I can't do it, we're gonna go and try and do this quick little quest. And then maybe I'll go and try and see if I can't find some mutant fish. Probably, it's probably a much better bait that I could be using to try and get this, but... Spoonworm, probably, but I just don't want to spend the 30,000 shells on getting a whole bunch of Spoonworm. But then I bet you if I did use the Spoonworm I'd be pulling them up. Ah, uh, there's a blackhead sea bream not even a very good one. Right, that's it, I've had enough. Good enough here, which is the unlimited default bait. Uh, could do a classic line or I could just put on... where is it? My starter line. It will decrease my... oh, hang on a minute, that's getting a little bit... yeah. I eventually I'm gonna have to replace that. Um look you can already see here that uh my basic reel kinda got a bit it's very broken so I just kinda took it off. I I'm gonna need to buy a better rod soon, which I can now because look I mean that basic rod of balance is only level ten and I'm at level thirty now so I can buy a much better rod, but for now we do this. 
Alright, we've landed something. And we've stunned, that's good. And pull you in. And you're a crab, okay. Alright, so I've got a fortune card, completed a quest, put it in live well. I'll just complete this quest, open a new one. That quest means also a bit of a pain. See the sea coins. We should use to buy certain things, including fuel. Not that I need to buy fuel at the moment, but it's useful to have them and stop piling them up. You can also use them to buy teleport cards, which um, I've, I've learned also how to use the teleport. Basically, if you're in a spot and you want to remember it, you can do that and then you can click teleport. Uh, if you have a navigator, you can go there automatically. But all, but uh, navigate to run out after a certain point amount of time. You can also get teleport cards, but I'm a bit limited on those at the moment. I think I've got three. Because I won five as part of a, part of a fortune card. But yeah. I've used two of them already when I went fishing with one of my friends to grab some larger stuff on another level. And they did it the second time so I could beat him. Oh, there we go. Red Sea Ream. That's a new one. Entered into my... Uh, my wiki. But actually, probably... Actually, I'm almost done here. I could probably go and hunt out the rest of them for this video and get an achievement there. Right, so I can catch bats, sea stars and cuttlefish around here. We know this. Well, not in this particular spot, but somewhere in this... Ooh, that looks promising. That looks like the type of fish I'm looking for for this quest. Come on. I'm moving back so I can keep some tension in the line, and... There we go! One down, one more to go. Got a perfect landing. Stunned and in. There we go! And a fortune card to boot. Brilliant. So that's uh, that's that complete. Now then, uh, what was I going to do? Right, the mutant fish are all kind of out there-ish. I don't actually know what mutant fish there would be around here. Yeah, let's 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 go let's go to the nearest point. Yeah, let's go to the nearest pointer, and then I'll try and figure out which one it might be from there. Because I've I've been around in this game long enough to sort of see what other fish people are dragging in, and I can I can have a reasonable guess, or I can take one. Let's move over here. My fishing spot has changed. Cuttlefish. Ah, I, could, I could actually go after the cuttlefish while I'm here. In fact, let's do that. Uh, let's go with a small shrimp, because that seems to be what it responds to best. We can see other people there off in the distance. And I'm under a bridge. Well, not quite under it yet, but that's a bridge pillar. I'm not that far away from being under the bridge. Rare. Very common, very rare. Kungareel, javelin goby, shell hagfish, hair tail. Another absolute bastard request. There's a. Uh, I can't remember which level it is, but you're meant to be looking for like floral versions of those. You can only catch them in one place, but I can't even I cannot even get it to like show me that the hair tails are around. <laughs> well that was easy. Right. I'm gonna release that one because it's not really worth it. And small shrimp. I don't have to worry about throwing back things I got with the small shrimp, because the small shrimp is unlimited. I've only kept other smaller fish that I fished with bait I've actually bought because, you know, at least that way I'm getting a little bit of money's worth out of it. 
Yeah, that's 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 worth it. That compensation, right? The answer is no. I'm not quite in the area for it anymore. So let's turn and go back. I mean, I actually have all these energy drinks. I really should equip them, but I've just never used them. I have this thing about I collect. And I acquire and I just accumulate things in my inventory. I do it with RPGs as well and any game where I can collect stuff. I mean, God's sake, it, when, it, when you see me play Skyrim, you will realise just how much of a collector I am. I am... I'm terrible, even though I don't... I don't really... I don't steal things, I'm not... I'm not a kleptomaniac, I just... Any dungeon that I go in and I find stuff, I will try my best to take out as much junk with me as I can. If it doesn't belong to somebody, then I take it, basically. That's probably why I'm a pirate in um, Late Dangerous. Didn't need to do that. Blackhead, Sea Bream. Mm, shouldn't release that, but. One is not going to bring down my shells too much. Oh, hello! This is different. I don't know what you are. But you are not what I was expecting. Now you see, the fish energy here is green. It's not grey, which means it's a slightly higher level fish. And then it also had like two energy bars, so you know. <coughs> right, let's try a hold. It's not working. Whoa! And that's why you need the longer line. So I'd, I'd, ha I'd, ha I'd have more line to play with if I had my uh, better line on. But because I don't, I only have like 50 meters of this line to play with. <laughs> so I've got to be careful and I've got to keep up with it. This is the real challenge of this game, like keeping up with higher level fish because there's so many ways they can try and break your line. Huh, okay. Slightly uh, better higher level red lip mullets. Uh, I thought it would be something much better than that, but it wasn't. Either way, it's still a pretty good fish. I can sell it for some nice shells. Mind you, it wasn't actually swimming that fast, so I should have known it wasn't going to be the best fish in the world, but at least it was something different. Shame it was the wrong type of mullet, but well, bounds way to catching small and medium sized fish. At least using the anchovies is sort of. It's, uh, it's taking out a whole bunch of other smaller fish out of the equation. Again, strategy to using the right type of bait. Maybe it's not the most effective bait for the fish you want to get, but if um, by using that bait you knock a whole bunch of other types of fish that are in the area out of the equation, then you have a chance of catching the fish you need. Like so. Right. So, I've completed that. Now what are we going to do? Are we going to go after that cuttlefish again? Right, we've got a bite, we've got a bite, we've got a bite. What do we have? Hey! Besides the bite, I mean. Hey! Stunned. Ooh, Japanese Spanish mackerel. Some of these fish are very pretty. And uh, some of them aren't, but some of these fish are very pretty. I mean, um, the rock bream kind of reminds me of another type of fish that, god, all that time I, fishing I spent in Animal Crossing, trying to catch really, really big fish. Definitely well for this. And then also, I think, I think the first fishing game I ever played on any sort of platform was way back when the Dreamcast was still a new thing. They had 
a fishing game out on that, and God knows what game it was, but I played it on a demo in a toy store over here in the UK. The Toys R Us, actually, I think. Yeah, it was Toys R Us, and I spent maybe 20 minutes in front of that machine having fun with that fishing game, and actually I was rather good at it. It's a very strange thing to realise that I'm actually good at fishing games and... <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong, like, most fishing games maybe are not that all that interesting, but maybe I like this one because... A bit more of a... I don't really know why I like this one. More quests to complete, maybe? Oh, there we go! Kettlefish! Right, so we've completed that. Um, what else do we have to find? Bat sea star, armor clad, uh, spiny spotted. Right, that looks to me a spotted sea bass. I think that's a spiny rasp skate. So let's head a little bit further out into the darker water.